If this was a wooden boat, it would be uh, destroying the wood around the through holes. Wow. Something called delignification. Hello and welcome to another one of the Boat How to Ask the Expert series. We're Nigel and Jan, and we answer your questions about boat electrical systems. And in this case, we have another question regarding corrosion. Last year, I cleaned all bonding connections and replaced my two zinc shaft anodes, which weren't lasting the season, with aluminum. This year, the aluminum anodes were less than half gone. Why am I losing bottom paint from around my bronze through holes? Well, Nigel brought his <laughs> half cell again. <laughs> First of all, I think we can assume that the bronze through holes uh, are connected into a bonding system mm -hmm. that's connected to the aluminum anodes. And if they really are high-end bronze through holes, they probably don't need to be connected in. Um, but assuming they are, by replacing the zinc with the aluminum and probably maintaining the surf same surface area or maybe a greater surface area, it, it sounds to me like we've actually got overprotection. Mm -hmm. and, and what we've got going on is something called cath cathodic despondment, where it does lift the paint off from around these bronze through holes. If this was a wooden boat, it would be uh, destroying the wood around the through holes, wow. something called delignification. The question is, how do we decide whether we got too much or not? And that's where we need the half cell, <laughs> um, which is a piece of kit that you hang over the side of the boat in the water. It's on a very long meter lead. So it's hanging in the water and then we plug it into a uh, multimeter in its DC volts mode. Yeah. And we, we pull those leads out, we plug this one in. Let's give you the other end of there's that one. Yeah. There we go. And then we so This one goes in the positive. That goes in the negative. So that red one is hanging in the water with this half cell. So if you put the half cell in the water, this is what's called a silver cell, a chloride half cell. Mm -hmm. um, and it's what we typically use in the boat world. Basically just a piece of yep. specialized metal. Yep, and then if we clipped a zinc anode onto this and hung that in the water, mm -hmm. so we've got the two electrically connected through the meter and both in the salt water, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll measure a voltage, basically the natural voltage of the zinc, and it'll be somewhere around minus one volt. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes out negative. We can ignore the, the negative and positive signs. So it's a volt. If we did the same thing with a bronze through hull, clip this on, hung it over the side, measured its natural voltage, we'd get maybe a, a reading of 200 millivolts, 0.2 of a volt. Yeah. So we've got this difference of 800 millivolts, 0.8 of a volt between the zinc or aluminum, if we're using an aluminum anode, it's very similar and the bronze. Uh, so when we're trying to figure out if we've got the right amount of protection on the boat, we, we put the silver chloride half cell in the water and then we go to each of the pieces of the metal connected into the bonding circuit and we want to see a voltage shift of about 200 millivolts mm -hmm. over their natural voltage. Yeah. So to protect the bronze, which we already know we don't really need to be protecting, if it was at 200 millivolts we'd want to see it go to 400. Yeah. Um, so we look at the most vulnerable piece of metal in the system, which is probably going to be a stainless steel propeller shaft mm -hmm. in most boats. We look at its natural voltage, and off the top of my head, I can't remember what it is, and we want to see a shift of at least 200 millivolts over that. Yeah. And if we're getting 4 and 5 and 600 millivolts, That's we've got too much protection. Mm -hmm. And then we get the cathodic despondment or the delignification with a wooden boat. Yeah. Uh, and effectively, to reduce that overprotection, we just need to reduce the surface area of the anode. So in this so case, instead of two, maybe just, three, just one. one. Yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. that probably would have done the trick. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> apparently more is not always better, yes. <laughs> <laughs> as in many cases. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for bringing your half cell all the way to Germany. Oh, I always travel with it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, if you're um, interested in to learn more about this, actually, we have a whole module about uh, galvanic and straight current corrosion in our advanced marine electrics course. So go to boathowto.com and check it out and see you for the next Ask the Expert video. <laughs> Stay tuned.